Hi Church, my name is Carrie and I'm from the Manchester Central Campus. I run a mental health charity um, and we work with horses, hopefully you can see them in the background, um, and we work with adults and young people to help them deal with the effects of um, exposure to mental trauma. Today I'd like to take some time to talk to you about a trip to Rwanda that I took this year with uh, the team from Audacious. Um, and a Bible verse that really springs to mind uh, for it is Proverbs um, 3 verses 5 to 6, which is, Trust in the Lord your God with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding, but in all ways submit to him, and he will make your path straight. Now as I sat in church and I heard Keith um, come up onto the stage and talk about some potential places that were left on the trip, um, it really shouldn't have worked for me. I was at a time in my life where I have young family, very busy, I run a business, run a charity, um, I have lots of horses to ride, um, I was dealing with the death of my father so I was in a real sort of raw grief over that. Um, and you know you can sit there and you can think no it's not the right time for me but I felt a very strong poke from God that maybe I should consider this and as the service finished um, my husband Tim turned to me and said you should really consider that and it was really much more enforced through that as well um, so I went and spoke to Keith about it um, and I had a pray about it and I felt that it was something that I really needed to do many times in our life it just doesn't feel the time is right to do it and that maybe we should just wait for a better time but certainly for me I had to sort of face up to some fears and some challenges and commit to do it so I took a bit of money that my dad had left me and I placed it into that trip um, with the seed of sort of faith and trust and stepped forward onto it um, I didn't really know why I was going on the trip. I looked around and saw all these doctors and clever people and stuff that, you know, outgoing, amazing, um, kingdom-led, mission-led people. And I thought, my goodness, I, I'm quite shy. I'm just quite retiring. Don't really like to put myself on that stage. Um, so it really was with a bit of toe-curling fear that I set out to do it. Um, but what I did know was I was sensible, I was calm, and I could bring something to the team in that. So that's what I took for the team. Um, it really became clear of God's plan one day um, when we were in the village in Rwanda and um, we were asked to go and visit vulnerable families um, and we were taken to um, this part of the village and I met a young woman um, who spoke to me about her husband, how he was um, fairly angry and upset and stressed and really not taking part in community at all and she was, she was very worried about his mental health. Um, and I knew very clearly at that moment that God had set me up for this because that's something that I do at home. Um, so I had the opportunity and the honour to talk to her about it. And then as we arrived at her house, she really wasn't expecting her husband to be there. But he opened the door and, you know, a fairly deep breath was taken and I knew that we had to uh, help him there and then. So with the help of my mission partner and an interpreter, we had the absolute blessing of talking to this man about the possibilities of the church and what it could do for his life and for his family's life. And that if he had faith and trust, maybe he could step out and, and maybe attempt to do that. Um, so an absolute blessing of the trip was the next day we sat in a packed church um, and I watched him walk from the back of the church to the front and stand with other men in the village to pray for the strength and the courage to be able to start to attend church and start to learn about God. And it really was one of the most amazing things of that trip to be able to witness that. So what I want to leave you with today and give you thought for the day really is to instead of sitting there or sitting at home or sitting in bed thinking I can't, I can't do this today, it's too much, I'm going to wait for tomorrow, I'm going to wait for a better time. I really want to encourage you to um, step up, um, you know, get dressed, get out of bed, make your bed, look for the day where you can really challenge yourself within that day. Because for me, um, going to Rwanda was mentally a, a big old challenge, um, but certainly it led to some uh, really life-changing things for me where I ended up getting baptised. Um, we started to be able to talk into lives there that um, really needed God's touch in them. Um, and so really don't limit yourself with what you can and can't do. Just open yourself up, have a little seed of faith and step forward into what God has for you today. Have a really good day church um, and I'll see you soon.